Hello, class. Class of geography, or as I like to refer to it, human geography, offered by Connors State College for this term, fall 2023. And the course code is G E O G dot two two four three. I am Jeff Bings, your instructor, and I am excited to begin another semester, another sixteen weeks of journeying to the wonderful subject of human geography. Now you might be thinking, human geography, blah. And you're maybe thinking, I'm only taking this because I had to have something as a elective. My instructor said, oh, I'll take this. It's easy. You'll make it through it, no problem. I don't know. But um, I have one main goal in teaching this class to make it one of your favorite classes that you took during your college career. I'm not afraid to say I, I want it to be your favorite class. But when you set goals, you got to be realistic. So to that end, I hope it's maybe one of your top three classes and no lower than one of your top five classes that you ever take on the college level. And I'm serious about that. Now, I just wanted to introduce myself to you. and. Um, For the rest of the time, just do a quick basic run through for those who are maybe first time ever taking a college course and doing it online is your first time. Just going to the site of the college and then getting to the class, real basic, and uh, then share some things with you about um, assignments and things like that. But first of all, I want to make sure we're clear about something, and this might be the first thing that is taught to you regarding this class. Now, even though it's listed as geography, we're really doing a human geography class. Here's the textbook. the 16th edition of Introduction to Geography. But as you're going to see, as you start to get into the chapters, well, this is not just about continents and countries and mountains and rivers and prairies and... Uh, thunder and lightning and rain and snow. It's not just about physical geography. No, this is about human geography. And human geography is the study of how humanity and all that humanity does on planet Earth, how it transforms and changes the planet. So, Instead of just things like this poster here showing you trees and sunlight and soil, most likely a forest, instead of things just like that, are just physical geographical categories like the mountains and the valleys and the rivers and the oceans and uh, the rain and the snow and those things. Human geography studies several different human geographies, such as culture, 
culture, customs, politics, religions, languages, our effect on the environment, um, regions, states. Um, human geographies, also including our interaction with the physical geographical categories, such as mountains, plateaus, the prairie, the rolling hills, the swamplands, and the weather, nature. So that's kind of what I want to just clarify for you if you were kind of uncertain about what human geography is or if you were under the impression that you were just going to be learning about places on earth and the types of geographical categories. All right, easy as pie, clear as a whistle. Let us go to the internet and we're going to start, like I said, real basically uh, by going to Connor's homepage. And uh, for you, you're going to go to the current students tab here at the top. And you will see on the left hand menu a link to Canvas. Canvas is where your online classroom homepages are. So let me go to the faculty and staff page and I'll get to my Canvas this way. And so you're going to press that tab or that link. And then this is going to come in, come up. And so you're going to put your credentials in, your, your login address, what usually your Connors state email address and the password that you chose, hit log in, and you will come to the dashboard, which simply lists the classes that you are taking this semester. Now, in my case, the classes that I am teaching. So for our class, you're going to find human geography. There's the code name as well, code number as well. Click on that and it's going to take you into the classroom. And what you see here is the course homepage. And you find the name of the class, the code, the code numbers again. My name, my beautiful manly picture, and my contact information, as well as my office hours. Yes, even though this is an online class, we I will have two virtual office hours, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 to 8 p.m. through email, text, or a phone call. And on Thursdays, I've even added the possibility of talking to me face-to-face -face on my Zoom personal page, just on Thursdays. And my cell phone number is my access code to my Zoom room. Now, what this office hour means is because you can contact me through email or my cell phone. Um, anytime between 8 a.m. and 11 p.m. I don't want any calls at three in the morning. Keep it between these reasonable hours. And so you might contact me at nine in the morning and it might be five hours before I get back to you, two in the afternoon. You might contact me 10 o'clock at night and I don't get back to you till the next day. If you contact me on my during my office hours, let's say when seven o'clock strikes, you send me an email immediately. I will respond to you before the eight 
o'clock hour. I will respond within that hour unless some emergency comes up in my life. So just be aware of that. Now, this class is set up in modules, and there will be four modules for the semester, not counting this welcome module, which simply has your basic information, uh, an overview of the class, how the class is structured, and a wonderful page on meeting your instructor that is me. But then there will be four modules, appropriately called module one, module two, module three, and module four. But there will be a little subtitle. For example, module one is about humans and physical geography. And then you can see module one takes place between August 21st and September 16th. Basically about four weeks per module. Now, right now, if you get on the page, you can access this overview. So I clicked on it. And what you're going to get for this page here, and you'll find one in every module, is, a, an, is an overview of the module. And it shows you what you'll be reading for this module, chapters one through four of the textbook that I showed you earlier. You can order it from the Connors Bookstore or you can use the ISBN number and maybe find a copy on Amazon or Vital Source or eBay possibly even. But however you get your textbook and even if you go to the um, publisher's website, which is McGraw-Hill, and you buy one of their online copies or you rent it from them. This is the book. Chapters one through four is the material for module one. Now you'll have homework assignments every module that add up to 100 points. And you'll have one test each module that is worth 100 points. So there's 200 points per module times four modules, 800 points total for the course. So every module, you will have these types of homework assessments. There will be a discussion question worth 30 points. There will be two briefs worth 15 points each for a total of 30 points. And then there will be a chapter's outline worth 40 points. Now, all of these assignments will be in a separate folder called, actually, all of these assignments will be in the module one folder and they will be under the module one overview. I've already got the discussion up and I've already got the two briefs up. I will have the outline up, the outline assignment up soon but very quickly what are these things that you have to do called briefs and a chapter's outline well they're not as hard as they may sound and i am going to put a page in the course that tells you what is a brief what is a chapter's outline Basically, a brief is like, uh, just think about the president. There's some hurricanes coming in right now to America. Let's say the president calls a meeting of all of his advisors that deal with weather tragedies and uh, disaster relief as well as military advisors, because military has to help a lot of times with tragedies, disasters. Let's say there's a couple of military generals who can't make the meeting because they're out of state. They send, they send an email to the president 
and it contains information that will brief him. That's what we talk about when we talk about a brief. I will give you a topic, which I've already done, and you are going to write a no more than a one-page paper, unless you want to make it longer. But it doesn't have to be more than one page. It needs to at least be about two-thirds of a page to one page. And you'll just be telling me about that topic, following the instructions, and you'll be briefing me on the subject. The chapter's outline is basically what it sounds like. You will be outlining those first four chapters for module one. But it's a specific type of outline. And I will also add a few things to it that have to be included in the outline. But don't panic. You've got pretty much the whole module to do the outline. So uh, just read my instructions. I'll, I'll even have a how-to video and you'll be okay. And of course you can contact me. Now, one of the most important things about an online course is communication. You need to stay in good communication with me if something comes up that will hinder your progress in your homework. A death in the family, a sick child, um, your computer crashes. I know that I'm not going to be the first person that you think of contacting, but as soon as you can, get in touch with me. Say, hey, I got a sick kid that I had to put in the hospital. I'm behind on these two assignments. And I'm going to be like, okay, you've got extra time to do them. No penalty. Good communication. And then as you'll see, as you look at the module overview, all of the tests are going to be open book, open notes. Yes, open book tests. And you get two days to complete the tests. Because I know some of you are, tradi are non-traditional students. You're coming back to school for the first time in a long time. You're still raising kids, you're working full time, or maybe you're single and you're working two jobs and you want to start working on getting an associate's degree and then maybe a bachelor so that you can get a better paying job, whatever it might be. Um, you're a big reason why you get two days for the tests. But for you traditional students, I know that you, you have other classes. I, I don't want to be accused of what we accused some of our teachers when I was in college of. I don't want to be accused of, quote, being the instructor who thinks his class is the only one. So that's why you get so much time for the tests. If you want to know my philosophy of why they're open book, open notes, you can ask me that personally through an email or a text or a call. But anyway, looking forward to a great semester. If you have any questions or concerns right off the bat, maybe you're waiting for some financial aid to come through. Maybe you're having problems getting a textbook. Um, you, you purchased it through the mail and it hasn't come through yet, let me know and I'll work with you. But anyway, have a wonderful Sunday evening. And I hope your classes start great tomorrow. And until the next video, this is Instructor Bings over and out from the home base in the Floor County, Oklahoma, USA. Bye-bye.